All right, so today I'm going to show you how to be able to calibrate the e-steps on your extruder using Cura. But before we get to that, there's a couple of things that you're going to need. One of them is you're going to need a computer with Cura installed on it. The next thing that you're going to need is a USB cable to be able to connect the computer to the laptop. After that, you're going to be needing a uh, method to be able to measure out the filament. And I'm going to show you the little jig that I made that makes it faster and easier to be able to measure out lengths of filament and mark them. And of course, mentioning the fact that we need to mark them uh, ideally a fine tipped marker. The next thing that you're going to need is a free piece of software called Notepad++ along with the SD card and the adapter in order to be able to put a piece of G-code on there. And don't be concerned about that. It's a very simple process. I like this method a lot. I like it better than Pronterface because I feel it is much more powerful and easier to use than Pronterface for those. Uh, stick around and we'll, we'll get right to it. All right, so the first thing that I want you to do is I want you to open up Cura. And I happen to be running version 5.2.1 at the moment, probably used to working in this prepare area, but I want you to come over here to the monitor portion of this. And you're gonna see that I've experimented with quite a few printer setups here. It doesn't really matter which one that you select. Uh, the method that I'm about to show you has worked on all of these. So on the right hand side here, you won't see anything at the moment, but what I want you to do is plug in the USB cable to the computer, and then I want you to plug it into the printer. And on the right hand side here, you're going to see that some parameters will show up allowing us to be able to uh, experiment with the printer. So on the top here you have the extruder and right now it's defaulted to 200 degrees Celsius and this will work. So I'm going to preheat that uh, right now and while that is preheating I want to just bring your attention down to this command line here sending g-code. So we're going to enter in some G-code here that will drive 100 millimeters of filament through that extruder. Now, I want the hot end to be hot before I go trying to drive the material. So I'm going to enter G1. I'm going to make a space. I'm going to put E100. So that means that I want to move 100 millimeters of filament. And then I'm putting F100. So that is the feed rate. So I just have to wait a moment for this to reach temperature. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit enter so that we will start to feed that filament. Before we do that, we're going to mark off 120 millimeters of filament just before the extruder so that once it has moved 100 millimeters of filament, we're going to measure what's left. If there's more than 20 millimeters left, then it means that we're under extruding. If there's less than 20 millimeters left, that means that we're over extruding. If it comes out at 20 millimeters exactly, then that means that the extruder is well calibrated. So if yours comes out from running this test where you have 20 millimeters of filament left, then you need not continue or go any further. So here we are, we're at 200 degrees Celsius, so I'm going to hit enter and the filament will now start to feed. All right, so the next step is to download Notepad++. It's a free piece of software. It's basically the equivalent of Notepad, but it was made specifically for using with G-Code. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a brand new file. So we just come up here, we go new. And I want you to take the text that I put into the description and I want you to cut and paste it here. So basically with this very small piece of code, you're going to be able to use this towards being able to calibrate the extruder. Once I've gone through it, you're going to put it onto the SD card. You're going to put it in the printer and you're going to hit print. And what's going to happen is it's going to extrude hundred millimeters of filament based upon the settings that I put in here. So I'm going to walk you through really quickly here. 
that anywhere where you see this little symbol that's in front of the flavor is basically is just a note. When it's executing this file, it ignores any text that has this right before it. So if we come down here to M92, E95, I'm saying to the extruder to set it so that when I request for a hundred millimeters of filament, it's going to do 95 steps. Okay, and so this is, you're going to have to edit this once we've executed it. So here, the next step is we're saying to heat up the, uh, the printer nozzle to 200. And you can change this value if your filament runs better at 190 or 210 or whatever it might be. But you will have to change it in two places. You have to change it here. And then uh, M105, we're saying, hey, report the temperature back from the request. M109, S200, wait for the hot end temperature to reach the value that is here. So if you change the value in this position from the M104, you have to change it here at the M109. You put 190 there, you put 190 here. You put 210 there, you put 210 here. 200 works fine for me for what it is that I'm doing. The next one is uh, telling the printer that we're going to be running in absolute extrusion mode. And this is the regular mode that the printer runs in whenever you're slicing and printing. So nothing to do there. G92E0 is resetting the extruder. So I want to make sure that I'm at zero before I go trying to push 100 millimeters of filament. The next line is a G28, which will home all three axes, meaning the X, the Y, and the Z. And I only put there just because I don't know where your printers might be at. This will put the print head in a safe position for us to extrude the 100 millimeters of filament. G1 is the same line that we put into Cura to test to find out is the extruder calibrated or not. So here I am asking it to extrude 100 millimeters of filament and I want a feed rate of 100. So M84 XYZ, I'm disabling all steppers but the E. So I don't want to disable the E when I'm going to take my measurement afterwards because I don't want it to move. It could affect the, the measurement that I take. So then M104 S0, I'm switching off the hot end uh, while I'm doing what I need to do. And then this is, that's the end of the G code. So you're going to save this. And right now what we'll do is, and I'm just going to, uh, I'll just pick any location to save it at the moment. I will put it onto the SD card momentarily. Uh, so I'm going to call this file uh, E95, all right? And it's September 2nd, so I'll overwrite my code. You're going to call it dot G code. Okay. You save it. Now you're going to take that file that you just saved and you're going to put it on an SD card and you're going to put it into the printer. So here I am, I'm using my little jig in order to be able to mark off 120 millimeters of filament. So just make sure that I'm butted up against the tube. I have the filament retracted. I just take the fine tip marker and I make a line on the filament so that I'm able to see that mark. And now I'm going to run that piece of G code that we put onto the SD card. All right, so now I expect there to be 20 millimeters of filament left and it's highly unlikely that that's what it'll end up being but uh, I have to still take the measurement and so we're looking at I'm gonna round that off and call it 32 millimeters so your results will be different so I will share with you how to use those numbers coming right up all right, so now here we have the code open that we had loaded where we we're basically telling the extruder that it was 95 steps to extrude 100 millimeters. And we know that that's not true because we ended up with 
32 millimeters left over from the marked 120. So we're going to take 120, we're going to subtract 32, which will equal 88. So 88 will now be placed into this formula. And so the formula is 100 times the requested number of steps per millimeter divided by the actual length extruded. So in this case, it's going to be 100 times the 95. So the 95 that we had placed up here after the M92 and the actual results were 88. So 100 times 92 divided by 88 is going to give us the new steps that we will now enter into that location in the E95. And that should give us the adjustment to get us to the point where we will extrude 100 millimeters. So here we enter the 100 times 95 because that's what we asked for. And then we divide by the actual results, which was 88. And so we are going to change this value over here. And I'm just going to round it up. I'm going to put 108 right up here. So let's do that right away. So I come here, I backspace 108. Uh, sorry about that. Okay, so that, uh, sorry about that. Okay, so here we go. That's 108.00. And I am now going to do a save as. I'm not going to delete my other file and I've put the USB key in right away. So today is September 2nd. So I will now save this as E108.g code. So I'm saving it onto that SD card. I'm going to mark another 120 millimeters on the filament and then I will run this file and it should adjust it so that we extrude 100 millimeters. Okay, so here I go. I'm marking off another 100 millim 120 millimeters, excuse me, with my handy little jig here. And just going to put a simple stripe on there. And now we're going to run that code again with the adjusted value. All right, so now I'm going to verify the results and I would expect that if I am within one millimeter, not plus or minus a millimeter, but if I am within one millimeter, I would think that that is pretty decent. And that looks like that is very, very close. I highly recommend that you repeat the test just to make sure that you've got consistent results. If you're not getting consistent results, you want to have a look at make sure that that spur gear that's in there is clean, that you don't have debris that's making the filament slip when you're trying to drive it. That's one. Then two, you'd want to inspect that spur gear to make sure that you haven't worn the teeth out on it. And then lastly, you want to make sure that that spur gear hasn't come loose. There's a set screw somewhere in there on that gear. So make sure that it isn't loose. All right, now that you've worked out the E-steps, to calibrate the extruder, the way that we're going to enter them in is we're going to come to the printer, or, uh, printer. we'll go to uh, manage printers and we're going to come over to the machine settings. All right, so what you're going to do is right at the end of this very first line, just place your cursor and hit enter. Then you are going to enter M92 space E108.00. All right, so this will override the steps that are set in the EE prom for every single print that you slice using this printer profile setup. So you see it's right here mine is Creative Creality Ender 3, Ender 3, version 2, July 7th. So every model that I slice with this printer setup this will override the E steps that are on the EE prom. And this is the calibrated configuration that we came up with from our testing. So now that you've entered this, go ahead and, and slice a print and test it. 
if you're under extruding you will find that you have gaps and spaces etc if you're over extruding you're going to find that you have filament oozing uh, if you follow the steps and there's no issues with your extruder gear uh, I don't see any reason why you should be very far off. So my typical brim test is coming right up and I'll share the results with you as soon as it's done. And I ran a test using the famous brims that I like to, to do. This one's a little bit smaller. But after I'd calibrated the E-steps, I ran this little test and it's very, very smooth. It's very, very tight. So on my test, it's very, very consistent. It's very, very smooth and I can show you the results that like each of the four sides you're looking at 27 millimeters 26 millimeters 27 millimeters and 27 millimeters so very very consistent give it a try let me know if you have any questions or comments let me know how you make out thanks for watching happy printing